Let's talk about some spring trends I'm already loving and that I'm going to be wearing all spring long. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lindsay. I do a lot of fashion content. I'd love for you to subscribe. Today, I wanna to talk about some spring trends I'm loving right now. And as somebody who thrifts, and these are things I've thrifted recently or that I already had in my closet that I'm gonna be re-wearing, and I think that's most important when you participate in trends, is to see what you already have in your closet and how you can participate with pieces you already own. But I don't think there's many much harm in thrifting pieces that are on trend. Just do your best to consume sustainably. And I just want to put that disclaimer because I still think it's fun to talk about trends with sustainability in mind. I still think it's okay to talk about... With Oh my god. I still think it's okay to talk about trends, but with sustainability in mind. First thing you guys already know is literally my number one spring trend that I'm going to be wearing into the summer is capris. And I think the way I'm styling capris in the springtime is with boots. Like knee-high boots. I think that is something I love so much is just how capris fit with boots. I fit with knee-high boots. I have three pairs of knee-length capris. I do want some that are longer and I just want to experiment more with capris. I will insert some inspo photos. I really do want a pair of skin-tight capris. I don't know if I want them to be like legging material or like dress pant material, but skin-tight Skin tight in terms of like bodycon, either knee length or like mid calf. I just feel like that looks very French girl, very Parisian, but in like a 50s Audrey Hepburn way. I just love that look and that aesthetic, and I feel like that classy vibe is just something I want to experiment with, and I really, really am excited about it. It just gets me so excited when you, I'm like really into something and I can just experiment in so many ways with it. So I will be styling my capris. I may do a video, I'm going to do a video on. YouTube, I think. Unless I make it into a TikTok, but stay tuned for some styling videos on capris because I love capris. And obviously not everyone is going to love them. I'm not trying to be here to dictate what's in tre on trend and what's not. It's a trend that some people will like, some people won't. Another disclaimer. <laughs> okay, the next one that I'm loving is polka dots. I feel like I'm very, I'm very much into like French inspired looks right now. I know polka dots don't, I don't, I don't know where they come from, but maybe they come from France, but French fashion. I just really love, oh, Dior is one of my favorite fashion houses at the moment um, in terms of like archival references, not their modern collections. Trust me, Miss Dior, not the spray pin spray painted Miss Dior. Anyways, <laughs> I just love polka dots. I bought this midi skirt that has like a band and then it kind of goes out into these really flowy pleats. It's chiffon. So stunning. I did a TikTok in it if you want to see it on. I love it so much. I'm so glad I thrifted that. I was so on the fence about it and I also have this asymmetrical polka dot strapless dress and I'm just loving pairing them because it's such a neutral when it's black and white polka dots that I feel like you can pair it with literally anything. It's like cheetah print. Like cheetah print to me is a neutral and I feel like polka dots are gonna be just resurfacing in terms of like a forgotten print because I feel like we haven't seen them in a while and I'm trying to think back to the last time they were in fashion and I don't I can't think like I think they've always been subconsciously like never like out of style but just there but I feel like I'm just so excited that in my head they're back in fashion and style so I love 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 polka dots guys I honestly couldn't find much on Pinterest but the pieces I do have, I will insert the TikToks I've made in the pieces I do have. I just think as a print, I'm so excited when like a print or color comes into style or that I start to love because it's just so many ways you can experiment with a print or a style because it, it's not specific to a silhouette or a garment. It can be literally on anything. I have a pair of polka dot ballet flats. I'm participating in many more ways than one and I think that's important when you think of a trend is to participate it in many ways as you can to just do the most. I love doing the most, so you will see me in polka dots for the springtime. Another one I've been loving, as I kind of mentioned, is midi skirt. It's a length of skirt I kind of forgot about. And it's the same length as capris. I was really into midi skirts in like 2020, but I feel like I wasn't styling them right. I was kind of, I don't know, I just, a midi skirt with like a knee high boot or a kitten heel. Not that I'm like insecure about my calves, but I always just felt like it cut me off weird. But now that I've been styling it, like that skirt I have, the polka dot one, if I wear it with this linen halter top I have and kitten heels, like that is gonna be my go-to summer outfit. So I think just mini skirts are such a forgotten about a length of a skirt. Cause I love mini skirts. Mini skirts are like my favorite thing ever. Also maxi skirts, I love maxi skirts, but maxi, maxi skirts are sometimes impractical or a little too much in my head. 
Like I have this, I have a three tier as everyone does, a white maxi skirt. I've tried to style it in the winter time, but I'm like, it just is too much. I feel like I'm drowning. Maybe that's just cause it's like all the way down to the floor and you're wearing it in the winter time. But even the summertime, I'm, sometimes it just looks too much in my opinion. So that's why a midi skirt is like the perfect in between cause it's not uncomfortable the way it's not on the border of being too short. It's there and it, you can pair it with so many different kinds of shoes. I just, midi skirt boot with boots, midi skirt with kitten heels, midi, midi skirt, with ballet flats, like maybe not sneakers. That would kind of give me the ick. Depends though, it really depends. It goes with so much and that's what I really look for in trends that I'm participating in is how many things I can incorporate it into in my wardrobe so I'm not over consuming to see what I already have because I do own a lot of midi skirts. So when I think of a trend, I'm thinking new ways to style that trend more than I already have. I'm somebody who's so conscious of trends that I feel like I'm never like so like, oh my gosh, I need to like, rearrange my whole, whole wardrobe to like participate in it. Like if it's not something that's I care to participate in, I'm not gonna participate in it, in it. Like you don't need to participate in every single trend that there's been, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, going off of prints, like polka dot, I love cheetah print. I know it's such a thing right now and I really hope it doesn't go out of style because I've always loved cheetah print or leopard print. I have leopard print pillows. I have a cheetah print fur hat. You'll hear me talk about them for years. But I just, I love them. I don't know what it is. I just, it is a neutral to me. It feels so like vintage inspired when it's the right kind of cheetah print. Let's just put that into disclaimer. It has to be the right kind of cheetah print that looks like it can't be like 2016 solid cheetah print. You know what I mean? I will only buy cheetah print that is looks like cheetah print. If it looks like a fast fashion version of it, I'm not participating. The next one that I've kind of like forgotten about that you can do is mixing metals because I... I Currently a silver girly. I have these Anna Luisa earrings that I've been wearing nonstop and I have silver rings on and I, I love gold hoops as well. I will never hate gold, but to me on certain things like gold hardware and purses look so cheap to me all the time. Bright gold. If you know what I mean, if it's if it's like really bright new looking gold on like purse, it looks so cheap to me. And if you have gold on your purse, I'm not saying go get rid of it, but just to me it looks so cheap. So I always look for silver hardware on purses. I do have a Marc Jacobs bag that I thrifted, but the gold kind of look looks worn in a way that like, okay, that looks like a real gold. Like you can tell it's not, not that it's like real gold, but you can tell it's like good quality hardware that it's not gonna tarnish to look fake. But I think mixing metals, I really love it. I think mixing silver and gold, when I see somebody do that so well, I'm like, yeah, I get it. You like know what you're doing. And I really appreciate that extra thought that goes into mixing metals. So that's something I really want to experiment with and try out because I have so many necklaces that I'm like, oh, I have to wear gold or silver, but maybe I can just work on mixing them up and mixing them together is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and my last one that I'm kind of loving recently is the boho vibe of Coachella. This was Coachella 2016, as Bella Hadid said. <laughs> or was it Kendall? in that Vogue video. I think like Vanessa Hudgens flower crown vibe of Tumblr 2014 is going to be research because I feel like it's an area that we've kind of forgotten about in terms of like an aesthetic. And I, I was somebody who loved like the boho aesthetic having, I don't even know, like fringe on a purse. I think just the boho aesthetic of it all, like the flower crowns as I was saying, lace, crochet, and just going full force into that aesthetic. I'm really gonna look at ways I can look at pieces I already own and see how I can participate more in that trend because I love crochet already. I have so many crochet sweaters, like lace things, and just see how I can accessorize with that aesthetic in mind and use that aesthetic as inspiration is what I'm saying. I will insert some pictures and references. That's something that I kind of just thought of and was like, yeah, we didn't really, haven't really seen that in recent years. So yeah, those are the trends for the springtime, I guess summer too, that I'm going to be participating in, in my own ways that I'm really excited to style. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of styling on TikTok if you wanna see my styling videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanna do more videos, sit down fashion videos for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.